So it's getting to be about that time where I'm thinking about whether I want to renew my lease or move somewhere else. And so I decided I would talk about why I hate New York City and all of the cons of living here. I think, myself included, I've glamorized New York City and have made it to become such a dream. People want so badly to live here and want to be this ideal New York City girl, but what does that really entail? And so I thought I would share some of the things that I hate about living here in hopes that I create a more realistic picture. While I'm doing this, I will be doing my makeup because I have to be doing something with my hands, otherwise these videos get really long. So let's get into it. The first thing I wanna mention about New York City, specifically Manhattan, is that it is really, really loud. And I didn't really realize this when I was living in Brooklyn. So depending on where you live, it can be very, very quiet and suburban, but Manhattan is loud. And I know in particular, like I live on a very busy street and I mean, you can hear all of the New York City traffic sounds like in all of my videos and in my podcast episodes. It's really frustrating. I am thankfully a very heavy sleeper, so I have no problem falling asleep to like sirens or people screaming in the street. But like two days ago, somebody was fighting like in our street on our block. They were fighting and it got so bad that like police came and it was like a whole riot and I was watching it from my window. It is insanely loud and I, I can't tell you like how frustrating it is when you're trying to like get in the zone of something or trying to have just a quiet moment and people are like window washing and drilling on the street. So you have to like be careful about where you choose to live, especially in Manhattan. I like hate noises even outside my house like when I'm on the subway and people are playing music, I really hate that because I don't want to listen to your music. Most people on subway are wearing headphones anyways, like just wear headphones. Can you imagine if like you were on a plane and somebody was playing music out loud? Like nobody would do that. Why are people doing it on the subway? One of probably my least favorite things about New York is that it smells. It really just smells so bad. And I wish there was a way that people can notice that in movies like they don't talk about it enough how smelly new york city is like i wish i could show you in a youtube video how smelly new york city is it pretty much always smells like urine or weed or food waste depending on where you are in the summer it gets worse because i feel like the heat traps all of that smell and you just are like breathing it all up your nose of this disgusting, nasty New York City smell. And it's very distinct. Like I've been to other cities where it does also smell, but there's a specific New York City smell. All New Yorkers know what I'm talking about. The third thing, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows, New York is just insanely expensive. I have compared my expenses to so many other people who live all across the world and all over different cities in the US and New York is just top-notch expensive. If you wanna see how much I spend in a week, you can watch my previous video where I talk about uh, things that I spent on a week. I was actually really proud of how little I spent in this week. I generally spend a lot more because I will go out and do events. I will have you know friends' birthdays and things like that. But this particular video I spent a little less than usual but I would definitely check that out if you're like looking to move to New York. Everything is just way more expensive here from groceries to rent. It's just all gonna add up. And even if you think you're a frugal person, there's just no way. You're just gonna spend more here than you do anywhere else. Kind of going off of that, the fourth thing is that apartments and living situations are so tough here. I can't even, like, where do I begin? There are so limited good apartments and the competition for them is so fierce. Like sometimes I will be walking down the street and I'll see a line on the block and I'll ask people like, what are you waiting in line for? And they'll say to view an apartment. Like people are lining up for apartments. And then not only that, any of the decent ones are so expensive 
and they get snatched up before people even look at the apartment. People will actually just watch a video of an apartment and then apply and the offer will be accepted before it even goes on the market. It's so competitive and it's insanely expensive. Anytime I tell people how much I spend on my rent, they expect a luxury, beautiful apartment. And I don't really have that. I have kind of a decent, normal New York City apartment. I don't have laundry in unit. I don't have any luxury amenities in my building. We don't have a gym or anything like that. I do have a doorman, which I really appreciate. But other than that, it's just a normal building. Not much is going on. And I think for the price that I'm paying, pretty much anywhere else you can get a beautiful luxury apartment, maybe with a pool or lounge area. We just don't have that here. Number five, New York City transportation sucks. If you've ever been to a city with good transportation, which is pretty much no American city, but if you've been to like London or if you've been to Seoul, like you'll know that transportation there is so good like if you go on the tube in london it's so nice and if you go to the subway in korea oh my god it's so clean every train has wi-fi um yeah new york city subway is disgusting it's never on time all the trains are absolutely disgusting there are so many crazy people and there are lots of crime happening. You'll see it on the news all the time. People are getting like stabbed and robbed. On the subway, you will pretty much constantly get yelled at or maybe attacked. So you have to be like on the lookout. It's not very safe. And yeah, you just have to be careful. And I don't love it. If I could avoid taking it, I honestly would, but it is the cheapest option since there's always so much traffic and Ubers are getting so expensive now. I do like the ferry, so if I have to get across to different boroughs, I like taking the ferry whenever I can. I will say that they recently increased the price, so now it's like $4 one way, which is like so expensive. I think that they should have kept it at $275. The ferry is like the safest option because it is very clean inside and you get nice views and there aren't as many crazies on the ferry and there's a lot more workers so like you feel a little bit safer but they don't run late at night and on top of that like having a car in Manhattan is pretty much impossible unless you have a ton of money so I hate when I have to like carry my own groceries or if I go to like Costco it's so hard to bring all that stuff back here so getting my groceries, I have to get very little because I have to carry it. Otherwise I have like my little granny cart that carries all of my stuff for me, but it is very frustrating to get your groceries. And if you live in a walk up, which a lot of my friends do, then getting your groceries up and down, that sucks. Like, uh-uh, not a fan of that. Okay, number six is what I call like New York City mean culture. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody talk about this, but People in New York can be like really aggressive and not helpful. And it's probably because the city is so crazy, you have to be careful. But also the way that people talk about New York, if you're from New York, is like really mean. I've been told like, oh, you're not really a New Yorker. You're a transplant. Like you don't have a 212 phone number or like you have to earn being called a New Yorker, which I feel like is really rude. I don't think any other city really believes in that. If you live there and you enjoy living there, why aren't you a person of that city? So I really don't like that part about New York City. And on top of that, I feel like it's a thing here to shit on all the tourists, which I have to admit, like being near tourists is really annoying. And God, nobody wants to be stuck in Times Square during the holidays. But it's part of like the glamour of the city. People want to come here, want to visit the awesome stuff we have here. And when they come here, you know what? They're gonna wanna do the touristy things and people are always shitting on them, but they're part of the city. It's just how it is when you live in a big, amazing city that is New York. There's this, there is this New York rhetoric where a lot of people say like, New York or nothing, New York or die and I don't know. 
I don't want to die here and this isn't the place that I want to grow old but I do understand what a lot of people are saying like there is no other city quite like New York but New York isn't for everyone and I think that people have to be a little bit more understanding that not everybody wants to live this lifestyle but for now this is where I choose to be and I am really like enjoying my time here even though it has been kind of stressful and I hope that this is helpful for anybody who's like planning to move to New York because there are so many things that people just like do not talk about that just needs to be said. Anyways, I'm done with my makeup and now I gotta walk like half a mile to get to where I have to go today. That's another thing about New York, lots and lots of walking. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!